Hi, my name is Gracia Lum Hopkins and welcome to another episode of Spin Weekly. Today we are unboxing the Paradise Fiber Fiber of the Month Club, which if you've been watching the show for a while, you know that the Fiber of the Month Club is my favorite fiber subscription box by a long shot. So I am really excited. Now, one word on the packaging of this poor box. Dearest Bean, when I opened it to make sure that's what it was, pulled the tissue paper and because the tissue paper is in like a tube around the stuff I was able to pick it up and dump the stuff back into the box and save the tissue paper however the tissue paper is now sitting nicely on top of the stuff so imagine it is around the stuff rather than on top of the stuff yeah. so to begin we open it up and the first thing I notice, well here, let's just go to the pretty purple tissue paper. It says, share for a chance to win hashtag paradise fibers. And it is beautiful purple. Did you want to look at that bean? The next thing I want to point out is the cardstock that the paper is written on. This is really nice. Now I realized last time I didn't tell you too much about what was on the paper. That was my fault. So this month's inspiration is crystals. A captivating custom micro blend of 50% flax linen in four colors, 35% gray day white mulberry silk, 10% amethyst tussa silk, and 5% violet blaze angelina. The flax colors featured in this blend are reminiscent of spring and the way nature naturally blends with vibrant marine blue, greenery stem, pale primrose, and lilac crystals is nature inspired. This bright white cultivated silk and deep amethyst tussa silk tucked in between these spring colors perfectly frame the essence of our inspiration crystals. Let us know what you are thinking of this micro blend. How do you prepare your flax? Hand cards? Do you wet spin? We hope you will enjoy this blend as much as we do. So there's a picture. Now, I have been thinking about flax micro blends for quite some time. So, oh, goodness. I am already picturing that I'm going to blend this with one of my breed study wools because I have some breed studies coming up and I think I'm gonna blend it in with that to further break up the flax and see what happens so that's that's really exciting another thing that's interesting is they have a 15% off of the hand card hand card Handcrafted Paradise Fiber Blending Product. So blend is kind of their theme of the month and only these Paradise Fiber of the Month people get that coupon code on top of their 15% off all fibers. So this is really a good deal. Um, the back part I am not going to read to you because it is a step-by-step -step project note for that project right there and Bean just dropped the box. Alright. So again, packaging yay, the cream colored cardstock for the paper, that makes me feel like I want to put this into my uh, cabinet where I keep all my tags and business cards and things so that way I can refer back to this project. That's a big deal, at least for me. I really like this. And some people before asked about the benefit of paying for packaging versus having no packaging and you get more fiber. And really, packaging, for the most part, is very minimal cost for most small business owners. Like, if you're going out and you're buying a cell phone and it's got, like, you, you, everybody's bought my cell phone. There's little boxes. 
My goodness, filming in the morning. Yeah, yeah. We got the box and the brochure and the little set in box and the foam and that's gonna be sort of expensive. But for fiber, we're talking like two cents for a piece of tissue paper, 10 cents max for a label, 10 cents max for the little paper. You know, yeah. if you go out and buy a pack of this and a pack of tissue paper and a package of stickers at like Office Max, it's gonna be freaking expensive. But if you buy in bulk and you divide that cost per item between the boxes, most people are looking at under $2. Even the fanciest people, like say Atomic Blue, I'm, I'm gonna bet that her packaging supplies per package are five bucks and under. If the cuts have been weird, it's because I'm cutting out beans squeals. Because they're kind of peaky. Well, the box is now overboard, so let's see what we have here. Whoa, we have white Egyptian cotton. Three ounces, non-lustrous short plant fiber, one of the longer varieties. Did you know cotton was first spun using machinery in England in 1730? Woo! So cotton seems to be the hot fiber right now. I, I'm thinking the fiber trend-o-meter is pointing to cotton. Um, my fiber share package that I received had cotton, the one that I sent out to Emily had requested cotton. Oh, oh, beanie. You wanna feel that? Oh, you got some in your hand. That's really, really nice. Oh, oh that's nice. That. Mama's gonna have fun playing with cotton. Now in the project note, they suggest blending all of these fibers together on the blending board, including the cotton. So, I'm curious what that would do. Oh, bye bye cotton. <laughs> I'm curious what that would do to the staple length. Sorry, Silk Midnight Rainbow. Oh, it's like purple with hints of. You smell? Mel? 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 Loud girl? That's really gorgeous. I am absolutely going to be putting in a photo so you can see the depth on this thing. Yeah. You want to play with that now? Sorry, so green. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Do you see this? Holy bananas! The depth in this fiber is so mind-blowing. There's so many layers of color, but they all are kind of on the same weight. So, oh, don't eat it. You can't wet felt that one. That'll get like wrapped around your esophagus. What do you think? Kind of funny. But yeah, the, the colors on both of these are mostly the same weight. So that way, it's just this luminescent feeling. These are really pretty. I, I just, I don't even know what I'm going to do with that. I want to spin a blend that totally highlights that. I want something that just highlights that sorry silk. So we'll have to think about what to do with that. What? What? White Angora Bunny Top. Clean, fluffy, luxury, luxurious, grade <coughs> Yeah, why are you yelling? Grade A Angora Top. There are five Angora rabbit breeds. That bre <coughs> English Angora, French, Satin, Giant, and German. This Angora is an English breed with a longer staple length. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I've ever felt anything so soft in my life. 
Hey, let's. What do you think? Mm. Yeah, I'm not trying to eat it. This is really beautiful. Careful. Okay, so I have some breed studies set up for the future. It looks like Angora is going to be one of my breed studies. <laughs> because I don't know much about Angora except to know that it is a bunny all of its own. So we're gonna have to experiment with that. There is, a, it's just a sample, so it's under an ounce. So I've read that Shetland or Rambouillet is a good blend to go with Angora, so I might do that. So I guess in that sense it wouldn't be a strictly pure breed study because I'm not spinning it pure. But if you have Angora, you want to stretch that as far as possible, I would think. And I've heard that it's really, really, really warm and it could be overwhelming if you didn't blend it. So I'm thinking about something for our Springfield trip. Since that's when we're going to need to be warm. Yeah, Springfield trip. And what else do we have in here? Pieces of Paradise. Mixed Merino top Milton's with micron counts ranging from 18 to 27. Nice. Two ounces. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. There's so many different colors, but they're all kind of that blue-green. There's some hints of like orange and stuff, but in the, in the card, the project they have had hits of random color. This is how they did the hits of random color for us. That's so cool. Do you want to go down while I say goodbye to people? And last but not least is the sample of the Crystals Micro Blend. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. There are so many. Okay, so I'm a spinner by profession, right? This is my job. But right here, I already have, I could blend this with something like a Merino and completely extend it. You know, because a lot of people have merino in their stash that they don't know what to do with. And then the sari silks, you could blend two completely different skeins. Like one ounce is a lot of sari silk to blend. You could put this with eight ounces and have two, two five ounce braids. So the 10 ounces for a project, you could do striping. So this is a way that you could get like something cheap and blend it with this luxury fiber. So that's two big projects right there. This, and then if you followed the project and the cards, even not completely, because completely they wanted hits of some of the sari silk. But you could blend this and the cotton and another plain fiber and have a whole project. And then the crystal you could blend just like you did the sari and have a whole project. The angora you could blend and have a whole project. Yeah! So there's so many whole projects. Five full entire projects that you could do. Yeah. From this box. That would be so cool. There's so much in here that... I'm not going to be able to spin it all right away, and spinning is my job. So that's pretty insane. Speaking of insane, I bet you the cuts on this video are going to be insane because Bean keeps squealing, which peeks out our microphones. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you got one of these boxes, let me know what your thoughts on it were because I was overjoyed. Um, you guys didn't catch my initial reaction because I had to save it from Bean, but I was like, holy fiber club Batman, this is nuts. So I am over the moon, and my baby seems to be done with this experience. So 
last but not least, we gotta thank our Patreon people, Bean. Every episode is brought to you by our friends on Patreon. If you would like to catch behind the scenes photos and thoughts and polls and interesting and exciting thank you gifts, go ahead and join us in the Spin Weekly Patreon family because you guys are the heartbeat of the show. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you got this box, comment and let me know what's in this Comment and let me know what you're going to do with it. And last but not least, we're going to thank our Patreon patrons who are the, <coughs> the Spin Weekly family. The, heart <coughs> the heartbeat of the show. <coughs> and today is not the day for poetic thank you. <coughs> Because my baby's freaking out. <laughs> so, if you don't want to miss any of these. <laughs> here, have some fiber. If you don't want to miss any of these fiber and baby shenanigans, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. <laughs> and we will see you next time. Say bye to the people that you've been talking to. Say bye. Say bye, cranky baby. Yeah, bye, cranky baby. Yeah.